He got to the uh, emergency room. I really wanted to die. I thought I was drowning, and here I couldn't swallow. It turns out it's part of the swallowing problem. What percentage of your patients do you bill for therapy who you don't know, you've never seen the swallow for? I get so bogged down by the minutia of my day, my billing time, my hour by hour by hour, mm -hmm. that I don't think I step back and say, oh, I don't know the percentage of this and I should be better. Talking and learning a little bit about the patient. Um, and listening to them. NPO should be the last, to, to me, it should be the last, very, 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 very last resort. Because your 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 whole your life is flushed out of the toilet thing. I think we don't ask because our students are not taught to ask. If you pull out any clinical bedside swallow eval, asking the patient is not on top. So you have a patient every day and you have been a patient. Why aren't you making the connection between what you want as a human and what you would want for other people? I think that's why, and I've said this all the time when I've taught classes to clinicians, I said, you have the hardest job. They come to you as an expert who's to say yes or no. Yeah. And it takes a really b brave clinician to say, I can't tell you for sure. And there's the consequences for speaking up and saying something. And those can be very real. Um, those can be very harsh from critics that you work with. It's almost like people don't understand that you are a human being who's making a decision to side with whatever institution that is holding you captive because they're part of your identity or they gave you a salary. Especially in the healthcare world, right? I think. I, I don't know, the ethical commitment is lost somewhere because and then people instead of like trying to fix it start blaming the institution that yes. they're a part of. Yes. The right side paralysis from the stroke is not life threatening. Where the um, the swallowing, which is kind of an invisible one, is if you don't know the right doctors, you you can not, I'm not saying mistreated, but you can get suboptimal. You, sub you can get mistreated, there's no question about it. If you had a stroke and you had a problem with your swallow, and somebody, and a speech pathologist came to your bedside and said, we're recommending you never eat by mouth again, you get a tube in your stomach, would you just eat anyway? My answer would be to this. Let me put it in your stomach first, you'd work. <laughs> Don't experiment in me. <laughs> there you go, that's the answer.